the Octonauts and the Porcupine Puffer. Hold still, Puffy. Yow! Up for a little table tennis, Peso? Not now, Quasi. I'm helping this little Porcupine Puffer with a sore spike. But it's going to be all better soon. All better? Really? Give a wiggle and see. You, one eye's looking this way and the other's looking that way. A porcupine puffer's eyes can look in two different directions at the same time. Careful not to startle Puffy here, or else he'll. Yeah! Yeah! <coughs> Hello, Captain. I, I was just uh, practicing my sword fighting. Ah, with a table tennis bat. <laughs> Quasi was just startled when Puffy puffed up. I do this when I'm scared to stay safe. And with these spikes, the bigger fish would have a hard time eating me. And it's a good thing, too. Porcupine puffers are really poisonous. It's okay, Puffy. <laughs> oh, my spike is starting to feel better. Thanks, Peso. Off you go, then, Puffy. Bye-bye. <laughs> There he goes. Good work, Peso. Another happy patient. Quasi, what's that big grey thing swimming towards Puffy? Oh, uh, that's just a whale shark. Puffy, look out! With at least one of those crazy eyes of yours. <gasps> yeah! Oh, no. Peso, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, this mission is a double rescue. We've got to save a porcupine puffer and the whale shark who's just swallowed him. Porcupine puffers are small, but they're one of the most poisonous creatures in the ocean. If the puffer gets into the whale shark's stomach, he'll be turned into food. And his poison will spread and make the whale shark very sick. We've got to get him out and fast. For both their sakes. Peso, Quasi, to the launch bay. Rope? Check. Fish pack? Check. Uh, what does this do? It's a fish pack. You just pull that cord and you got yourself a portable fish tank. So the puffer is safe in the water and you're safe from his prickly spines. Good thinking, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this. Quasi. You swim into the whale shark's mouth. Grab Puffy, put him into the fish pack. Then I'll give you the signal. Ha -ha! And we'll pull you out by the rope. Aye, sounds easy enough to me. There he is. And he's going after those tiny crew. Strap on the fish pack, Quasi. Quasi? Yow! Peso, you drive. I'm coming oh. for you, Puffy! Does it? I'll just put you in this fish pack. Here it comes, Quasi. Thanks, Gary. Whoa! <laughs> Follow that whale shark, Peso. Activate Turbo Booster, or we'll lose them. Nervous Puffer's gonna poke the whale shark's mouth! No! I meant, hello! <laughs> it's Uncle Quasi here to help you get all comfy and cosy. You've got plenty of water to splash around in, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're having a really fun time here. We are? Yeah, because Uncle Quasi's gonna do a funny dance for you. It's called a Try to Open the Jaws! <laughs> With all your might, search the gills for a way out. Dash back to the jaws to try again, but slip and slide on this slippery time and go! <laughs> this is fun! Now what? Now it's story time. Uh, once upon a time, Uncle Quasi and a cute little puffer fish were waiting to be rescued by Uncle Barnacles and Uncle Peso, <laughs> who were taken forever. 
It's time for Plan B. When the whale shark opens his mouth, I'll swim in, put Puffy in the pack, and give you the signal. Cuckoo! Then I'll throw the rope and pull everyone out. Ready? Ready, Captain. Three, two, one, jump! Yeah! You can do it, Peso. <laughs> Look, it's Uncle Peso. Stay calm, Puffy. We're just going to. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Captain, use your polar bear strength. Ah, I'm trying, but he's using his whale shark sucking strength. Whoa! And it's Uncle Barnacles. If we go through that sponge wall, we'll end up in the stomach. Grab onto the gills. Sounds like the whale shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. <laughs> Must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. Phew! Hold on, Puffy. We have to get him back into water fast. The whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. I can't quite reach his tail. You can if you hold on to me. Gotcha. For lunch. Uh, uh, oh, where'd I go? Yeah. Follow the krill where you will. You'll never shake me. to watch out for really big fish. I keep an eye and an eye out for them. <laughs> <laughs> the Octonauts and the Manta Rays. That's it. Come on out. Dashy, <gasps> come in, Dashy. How's the photo assignment going? Well, I've taken some good shots. 
But if I want one of my photos on the cover of National Geographic, I need a really great shot. <gasps> Captain, I have to call you back. Manta rays. Incredible. Sorry for crashing into you like that. I just... Ouch! Are you all right? No. I, I think I scratched my fin. Ow! Sorry about Muriel here. For a manta ray, she's not very good at leaping. For a manta ray, she's not very good at anything. Oh, ha, ha. Very funny. Don't mind them. They're just my remora fish. Most of us manta rays have them. They ride around with me everywhere. Ow! You better come with me, Muriel. I know just the person who can make your fin feel better. <laughs> Please do make her better, Doctor. Muriel may be clumsy, but she is our friend. Don't worry, Muriel. Your fin just needs a little slime. Slime? What do you need slime for? Manta Ray's skin is protected by a layer of slime. Some of Muriel's got scratched off when she crashed into Dashi. There. Good as new. Thanks. Now, uh, got to go. I need to catch up with the other Manta Rays. They know the way. The way? The way to what? Every so often, we manta rays have a big feast in a special place. The secret manta ray feeding ground. I reckon nobody's ever photographed that before. How do we get there, Muriel? Um... <laughs> if you find out, be sure to tell Muriel. It's so secret, even she doesn't know where it is. Uh, I guess you could say I've never actually been there, myself, personally. <laughs> But I have to get there soon or I'll miss the big feast. In that case, we'd better help you find it. Dashie, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help Muriel find the secret manta ray feeding ground. Muriel, do you have any idea where it may be? Well. There is an old manta ray rhyme about it. Uh, follow the giant swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring. Huh? Hmm. Dashi, let's see the map. Ah, I don't see any rivers or swirling things on the map. Maybe we're looking at the wrong map. Let's check the storm tracker. There, that storm looks like a giant swirling thing. And we're going to follow it. Quasi, peso, dashi, into the guppe. We'd better hurry. The big feast doesn't last long. One swirling storm straight ahead. Oh, there it is. The swirling thing. Come along, everyone. Let's go. Whoa. 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 Muriel. <laughs> We've got to tow her out somehow. Quasi, can you... I'm coming for you, Muriel! Wait! Don't touch her! You'll scratch off her slime! You need to make your paws soft and slimy first! I slime gloves! You take one of them, I'll take the other! Let's go, Captain! Everyone hang on! The engines have shut down! How will we- Whoa! Oh, baby, that tickles! Woohoo! Captain, the waves are filling her things like a giant sail! Then we'd better sail this ship to safety! Grab a rope, Dashi! Who left, Captain? Oh. Dashi! Who knew you would make such a good sail, Muriel? I think we finally found something you're good at. Oh, is everyone okay? We're fine, Captain. But where are we? That storm pulled us pretty far out to sea. There's nothing around for miles. Oh no, we're lost. <gasps> now we'll never find the secret feeding ground. Uh, Muriel, what's that you're eating? Oh, just some krill. It's what we mantas eat. 
There'll be tons of krill at the big feast. Something's pulling the krill away. It could be a clue. Hey everyone, follow those krill. We'll have to come back for the cup A later. Look! They're being sucked into that current. Of course. A current is like a river of fast-moving water in the ocean. Follow the great big swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring. This must be it. What are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> Look, more krill! We must be getting close. Aye, we are getting close to that giant green! Not the deep flippers! The current's too strong to swim out of! We're going to crash! Two crashes in one day. That's a new record, Muriel. There's something on the other side. Everyone, sideways formation! <laughs> Whiskers, a hidden lagoon. The reef makes a ring all around it. Follow the river to the secret ring. That means this must be it. The secret manta ray feeding ground. But I don't see any manta rays. The big feast must be over. Or maybe it's just beginning. We man to raise each when we all get together. Now these are some good shots. Ugh. My camera. Yeah, it's going too fast. Here, hop on, chaps. Now let's get that camera. <laughs> Almost hang it. Oh. Look out! Careful where you're going. Oh dear, leave it to Muriel. This is starting to get a little rough. We need to hurry. Dashie, are you okay? I'm fine. But we have to help the others. What about your camera? I'll leave it. My friends come first. Thanks, Dashie. Now for Quasi and Peso. Yeah. Hey, so, Quasi, grab on! <laughs> grab on? Grab on to what? Ah! No! No! Should have seen that coming! <laughs> now let's get out of here! The only way out is up! Muriel, we have to leap over the reef. Uh, I'm not very good at leaping. We'll help you. First, you've got to dive down to build up speed. Okay. Here goes. Ooh. Now, up to the surface. Fast. <laughs> Muriel, what's the matter? I just thought we might like a picture or two. <laughs> oh, thanks. I've got an idea for a great one. Here we go. Done, Muriel. I guess I'm not so bad at leaping after all. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, chaps. Now that's a photo fit for the cover of National Geographic. <laughs> oh, thanks, Muriel. Did you get Muriel's good side? That's the side I'm on. No, that's the side I'm on. The Octonauts and the Long Arm Squid. As the little fishy swam closer to the shipwreck, he heard a strange, whispery voice. <laughs> then an eerie white something rose up from the shadows of the sunken ship. It was what we pirates call a sea ghost. Its slimy fingers stretched from its hands like long, squirmy eels. Its voice came to him in a spooky whisper. I have an urgent message for Captain Barnacle. Oh. The vampire squid! Oh, phew. 
It's all right. He's an old friend. What seems to be the problem? Captain Barnacles, I have come from the deep down below where I have heard the cry of a hurt creature. A hurt creature? Hey, so, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. <laughs> Octonaut, our friend the vampire squid has heard an injured creature down in the midnight zone. What sort of creature? Uh, I, I don't know. It is very dark and spooky down there. I get scared easily. Peso, why don't you take the guppy down below and investigate? As a medic, it's my duty to help any creature who's hurt or sick, no matter what. Even if they're hurt or sick in a very spooky place. If it's spooky down there, you're going to need help, matey. Captain, I'm going too. I'll stay in touch on the radio. Let me know if you run into any trouble. Yes, Captain. Aye, Captain. Over there. That is where I heard the injured thing. Look at that. And strange whispery noises too, just like in your story. Aye, matey. You don't think there's a sea ghost down here, do you? Ah, this is too spooky for me. Ugh, slime. Those noises sound like they're coming from over there. I'm going in for a closer look. Come in, Peso. Yes, Captain. Peso, we've got you and Quasi on the radar. We'll keep an eye on you from here. Thanks, Captain. We found a shipwreck, and strange noises seem to be coming from inside. It could be the hurt creature. Over and out. What? There's no such thing as sea ghosts. Hello? Is there anybody in here? Quasi? Is that you? Not a sea ghost. You're an anglerfish. Thank goodness someone heard me. I've got this pain in my lantern. Can you help? That's what I'm here for. Hmm. Looks like you've twisted this. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> there's, there's, ah. there's nothing to worry about. This won't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> now to get you a sticker. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. Flappity <laughs> <laughs> flippers! Hey, sir! Oh, you don't want to go in there, boy! I'm coming for you, matey! Hey, so! Hey, oh. hey so's medical back. He would never leave this lying about. And there's that noise again. Captain, I found Peso's bag, but Peso's nowhere to be seen. Well, according to the radar, he should be nearby. Yeah! That's it, Quasi. Keep going. Quasi, there's something else aboard the shipwreck. Whatever it is, it's heading straight for you. I don't see anything. It's getting closer. Closer? Quasi, it's standing right next to you. I don't see anything. Behind! In front! Just get turn! Captain! Captain! I, I can't hear you! Come in, Quasi! Captain, we've lost all radio contact. I know you're here somewhere. What? Who's there? Show yourself! Wow! <laughs> Got you this time! <laughs> yeah! A sea ghost! Hey, so, did you have to do that? Was 
sorry, Quasi. I didn't mean to scare you. You... you didn't? It's just... I think this wreck may be haunted by a sea ghost. I saw something too. But sea ghosts are only make-believe. Aren't they? The sea ghost? <laughs> Barnacles. I came down as soon as we lost radio contact. Were you expecting someone else? Yes, the sea ghost. Sea ghost? It's got a strange whispery voice and long white fingers like slimy eels. It tried to grab me with them. Captain, it snuck up behind me and... Listen. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants us to be here. We'd better move out. Fast. This way. Hurry. The sea ghost strikes again. Let go. I've got you! I've got you! It's got me! This way! Did we just get elbowed by a ghost? Was he? Just a little further. Whoa! This way! Um, Pardon? Did you say help? Help a ghost? I'm so sorry to bother you, but I'm not actually a ghost. I'm a long arm squid. A long arm squid? I've seen squids before, and they don't look like ghosts. Oh, but there are lots of different kinds of squid. Giant squid, vampire squid, and me, a long-armed squid. See? So those were your elbows that bumped us earlier. Oh, yes. I'm uh, really sorry about that. These elbows of mine are always getting in the way. We're the only squid that have them, you know. But I'm afraid my elbows aren't the problem. Your tentacle is tangled. Yeah, that's why I was trying to, you know, get your attention. But why didn't you just ask us for help? Well, we long-armed squids are, well, shy. I'm sorry if I uh, frightened you. Frightened? <laughs> It'd take more than a squid to frighten me. Oh, do you think you could help me with my tentacle, if it wouldn't be too much trouble? No trouble at all. Octonauts? Let's untangle this tentacle. Ready, Peso? Ready. Oh, I'm free. Hmm, you need a bandage on that. Oh, it feels better already. Thank you, Peso. It was no trouble at all. You be careful with those elbows of yours. I will. Goodbye! Cheerio! Oh, oh, oh! Ah, my friends! Did you find... Wait! You forgot your medical bag! Ah! Ghost! Oh! Empire! Ah! Sweet! <laughs> the Octonauts and the Manatees! Are you there? Come in, Dashie. There's a dangerous storm approaching, and there's going to be a lot of lightning. And when lightning strikes the ocean, the electricity spreads out through the water near the surface. So even if it doesn't hit you directly, you can still get set. Thanks for the warning. I'm heading to deeper waters right now. Barnacles out. Whoa, I've been hit. Whoa, a manatee! More manatees! Whoa, man, what's the hurry? Time for an emergency landing! Whoa, make that a crash landing! Phew! Huh? Yeah! Um, giant clam? I think you have something that belongs to me, and I'm going to need it back. In that case, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. 
Hmm. This could take a while. Uh-oh. Sounds like more lightning. And it's heading straight for those manatees. Time to sound the octo Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Can't uh, quite reach. Aha! A sticky limpet! And a little seaweed! Bullseye! <laughs> Optimods to the HQ! Octonauts, the lightning storm is heading straight for a herd of manatees. We need to get them to safety. Are you with the manatees now, Captain? Um, not exactly, Peso. I'm sort of, um, stuck. Uh, doing something else at the moment. But I'll guide the mission from here. The lightning storm's picking up speed, Captain. Keep tracking it, Dashy. Everyone, let's move those manatees to deeper water. Captain, wait! Go ahead, Shellyfish. I mean, uh, Shellington. <laughs> I mean, Shellington. The manatees breathe air, Captain. They can only be underwater for a few minutes before they need to take a breath. So, the manatees will need to be moved somewhere they can breathe. Then we'd better lead them back to the Outropod. The Outropod? I meant to say, get all those manatees inside the Octopod now. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, to the guts. Yow! I'm digging this air today. You said it, ma'am. Nothing beats a little fresh air. Captain, we've arrived on the scene. Good. Then get those manatees moving. Aye, aye, Captain. Tunip, come in. Supercouple. Tunip, the manatees will need something to eat. Gather as much sea grass as you can and bring it to the launch... Uh-oh. Uh Super. Nothing to worry about, Tunip. Just get the sea grass. Hmm. Hmm. Hungry barracudas. I'd better make myself invisible. Ahoy, manatees! There's a dangerous lightning storm approaching. We're here to lead you to safety. Sure thing, man. No problem. We're happy to go with that flow. Everybody climb onto a gump and we'll drive you down to the octopod. Here we go. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Moving very slowly. Oi, how do they ever catch any fish to eat? Fish? No way, man. We're vegetarians. We only eat plants. We never have to chase after our food, so we like to do things nice and easy. Huh. Come in, Captain. Go ahead, Quasi. This is going to be trickier than we thought. The manatees are really slow. And they're a little disorganized. Well, you've got to get them organized. Line the manatees up and get them onto the guts one by one. Here I am. I've got to go. I'm sure I saw something shiny around here. The lightning's getting closer. We need to get these manatees to safety fast. Hello, sir. You'll go to the Gub G with Dashie. Cool. Ma'am, hi there. You'll go to the Gub E with Peso. All right. Sir, Quasi here will be your driver on the Gub X. On, climb aboard, matey. Hop on top. Oh, smooth ride, man. I think that's all we can fit. That's okay. I'll wait here. You can get me on the next trip. Don't worry. We'll be right back. Come on, mateys! To the octopod! Shiny! Shiny! Uh-oh. Shiny thing! Looks like there's only one way out of this. Captain, almost all the manatees are safe inside the octopod. Only one left. Good work! Ah, peso! 
The lightning is now right over the last manatee. Oh dear. Captain, I don't know if we can get her back to the octopod in time. Whoa! I know, it's serious. It's not too late to save her, is it? Yes, it is. No, I mean, we'll rescue the last manatee. Bring the Gup D and the Gup C to the surface and call me when you get there. Oh. Mm, my air tank is almost empty. I won't be able to breathe down here much longer. Oh no! We're coming for you! We manatees don't usually say this, but hurry, man! Captain, we've arrived at the surface! Good. Now, flip the gup D over and open the windscreen. This will create an air pocket so the manatee can breathe. Then, tow it deep underwater, away from the lightning. Aye, Captain. I've got to get my paw out of this clam before I run out of air. Ah. 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 Can you breathe all right in there? Oh, yeah. This is far out, man. Good. Now let's go. Almost empty. <gasps> Captain, it worked. The last manatee is safe. <laughs> Captain? Mm-hmm. Ah. Ah. Captain, are you all right? <gasps> I'm fine. How are you? I'm cool, man. Captain, the storm is passing. Thanks, Dashy. Now all the manatees can be released. Tweak, open the octo hatch. So long, manatees. Bye bye. Come on, guys. Let's go breathe some fresh air. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> now that's some nice air. Good work today, everyone. But what about you, Captain? Yeah. What happened down there? Oh, let's see. I was uh, struck by lightning, eaten by a giant clam, stung by a jellyfish, attacked by barracudas, escaped from the back of a blue whale, smashed into a shipwreck, freed myself, ran out of air, and, uh, oh yeah, found you. Oh, man. Yeah, let me pull. So, Wazi, how on earth did you manage to stack all those manatees onto the... The Octonauts and the Mimic Octopus. <laughs> There you go, Tunip. Some warm kelp soup should help your Vegema Pox feel better. Looks like we need more soup. Oops, there we go. We can't keep up with them, Captain. Can't Peso give them some medicine for their Vegema Pox? Peso can't make the medicine until he finds the special ingredient. Peso, come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red algae? Not yet, Captain. There isn't much of it in this part of the ocean. <gasps> Peso, over here! Red algae. This should be just enough for the Vegemal's medicine. Captain, we found some. Excellent work. Now hurry back to the octopod. The vegetables are getting a bit, um, restless. <laughs> We're on our way. Oh! The algae! Excuse me, I... Hey, clear off. This here's my home. I think I dropped something down there. Ah, and that's where it's there. No trespassing. <laughs> 
Careful, Peso. That's a moray eel, and they can be very protective of their homes. Captain, we've got a bit of a problem here. The red algae has fallen into a moray eel's lair. Hmm. Hurry back to the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, a bottle of red algae has fallen into the home of a moray eel. We need that algae to make the vegetables medicine. Ah, why don't you let me take care of that slippery old eel? I'll give him the old. I don't think that's a good idea, Quasi. Moray eels can be very dangerous, especially when they're defending their home. But maybe there's some way you can lure the eel out of his lair. And while he's chasing after me, Peso can slip inside and get the algae. Uh, but what if the eel comes back before I can find it? Hmm. I've got it. Sea snakes. They can be very poisonous, and even moray eels know to stay away from them. So all we have to do is find a couple of poisonous sea snakes and ask them nicely to keep their fangs to themselves and help us. Precisely. Count me in. That may be a little difficult. Captain, I have a friend who may be able to help. He's not a poisonous sea snake, is he? Ahem. <laughs> not exactly. According to Professor Inkling, his friend lives somewhere around here. I don't see anyone. <gasps> Peso, don't move a muscle. What is it, Quasi? There's a dangerous fish right in front of you. A bandit soul. If you're lucky I spotted it, matey. Bandit souls are very poisonous. Professor Inkling's friend is a bandit soul? Yeah! <laughs> Professor Inkling? He is indeed my friend, but I am no bandit soul. <gasps> You're an octopus. Not just any octopus. A mimic octopus. Sir Mortimer, the mimic octopus, at your service. Any friends of Professor Inkling are friends of mine. But how did you... I, I mean, I, I, I knew it was a trick. Oh, it was no mere trick, my boy. We mimic octopuses cannot squirt ink to get away from predators, uh, so we must protect ourselves by pretending to be poisonous sea creatures. Wow. Not bad. <gasps> Not bad? My dear fellow, it is magnificent. Wait till you see my poisonous lion fish. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Mortimer, can you impersonate a sea snake? Prepare to be dazzled as this mimic octopus becomes not one, not two, but three poisonous sea snakes. Hiss, hiss, hiss! Meh. Bravo, Mortimer. We need an actor of your talent for a special mission. Do you think you could help us? Lead on, my seafaring friend. My audience awaits. Show off. I heard that. There he is. All right, everyone. Here's the plan. Step one. Quasi, on my signal, you'll lure the eel out of his lair and lead him into this rocky reef. Aye, aye, Captain. Step two. Peso, you swim inside to look for the bottle. Righto. Step three. To keep the eel from coming back too soon, Mortimer will create a distraction here. It shall be among my greatest performances. <sighs> Octonauts and Mortimer, let's do this. Step one. Quasi, go. Yeah! Oh, stay away from my home. Come and get me, you toothy lump. Oh, I knew you'd ask it for it. Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, Peso, time for step two. I'm entering the lair, Captain. The algae has to be around here somewhere. Aha! You'll have to be faster than that, matey! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> huh? 
Admit it, my lionfish impersonation had you fooled. Well, I suppose, but only for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know how much longer I can keep this up! Was he? In here! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! And you'll stay in there if you know it's good for you! He's heading back to his home. Quasi, are you okay in there? Yes, Captain. Carry on with the plan. Come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red algae? Not yet, Captain. It's a bit of a tight squeeze in here. We'll buy you some more time. On to step three. Here he comes. Ready, Mortimer? Ready for the performance of a lifetime, dear boy. Ah! No! Not sea snakes! Yes! We are one, two, three sea snakes! Be gone, or we'll bite you inside out! Hiss! 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 Uh, don't overdo it. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I think I'll take another way home. Excellent, Mortimer. Another five-star performance. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Peso, any luck? Captain, I think I see the bottle. But it's stuck. Oh, no. The eel's taking a shortcut. Peso, the eel is coming back. Fast. You've got to get out of there. Now. Almost got it. Yes. Time to skedaddle! Ah, let's pass up! What are you doing in my home? Hey, so! Grab on! Yeah. Hey. Nice work in there, Peso! Quasi, mission accomplished! We're on our way to pick you up! Yeah. Oh, thanks, Captain! Huh? As for you, Sir Mortimer, don't think you can fool me this time. I wouldn't do that if I were you, dear boy. Sea snake bites are poisonous. I know that, but these aren't sea snakes. They're... Sea snakes! Yow! Hop on! We've got to get this medicine back to the vegetables. There you go. You'll be better in no time. The captain tells me your performance was quite brilliant. It was. We couldn't have done it without your help, Mortimer. A mimic octopus is always happy to put on a show. And I have a new impression now to add to my repertoire. You do? <laughs> she snakes! Yo! <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> 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 <laughs>